What's going on fellas, this is Dealer here back again with yet another video. How the fuck are you guys doing today? I'm doing phenomenally, thanks for asking as you usually do. Today I wanted to talk about AMD's newest iteration CPU technology, making it inside of Xbox One Scorpio, Ryzen inside of X1 Scorpio, uh, you know, <laughs> I've got some opinions and a lot of facts for you, as well as uh, a new update enabling Xbox Live to download and operate up to 80% faster, according to Microsoft themselves. But first, I want to start with uh, Ryzen inside of X1 Scorpio. Now, you guys know that uh, <laughs> when I heard four Titans, I laughed my ass off, right? All this shit. I fight to keep in check. I feel like Xbox dudes get enough bullshit as it is. I'm not going to enable any extra bullshit for myself. And, I, and that's why I try to keep shit in check. And I'll actually link the last video I did where I had to do this. Okay, because people were running rampant with misinformation because they were getting their information from people that don't know about CPU technology or GPU technology or how that affects memory or what it, why there's an X on the end of GDDR5, any of that. You get what I'm saying? So I try to keep shit 100, and I, I would like to think that a lot of you dudes have a, at least a, just a smidgen of respect for somebody that does that. Uh, and, and I appreciate that. But some of you dudes probably won't like this video because I'm going to keep it real as I always do. Now, some people in Facebook groups, of course, I'm pretty sure people are making videos about this, claiming the Ryzen we saw at the conference, uh, the New Horizon AMD conference, is going to make it inside of X1 Scorpio. Even going as far as saying, I told you guys to, like... <laughs> Keep in mind, we have zero, zero butt fucking confirmation if Ryzen's even going to be inside of the Scorpio. Now, Phil did come out and say they're going to be utilizing the latest uh, AMD technology, but keep in mind, AMD are still manufacturing a lot of CPUs, okay? The most important thing to remember is that there's a reason they call console tech from AMD themselves, they call it semi-custom. It is modified. It is customized to an ever so slight degree, finding proper clock speeds to feed into the right PSU to, to keep shit operating smoothly with durability in mind. Consoles have to be reliable, okay? So they, they, they modify this shit, and rarely did they just take something and plop it in without any adjustments, without any cut, cut downs or clock speed changes. It's just not the case. Uh, and like I said, a lot of people are saying that this Ryzen hyper-threaded 8-core CPU is going to make it inside of X1 Scorpio, and that, that blows my mind. And really, that's how you know somebody doesn't know too much about what this CPU is. This is an $1,100 Intel equivalent, okay, at, at, at most... In, AMD can take half the price off and sell it. Let's say they take, they make it 600, 500 bucks. You know, that's an extremely ridiculous deal because the equivalent is $1,100. That, that CPU is so fucking ridiculously overkill for this console, I, I can't even state it into words. My i7 Intel quad-core hyper-threaded CPU isn't even being maxed out, not even close to being maxed out in games. And you're, talk, you're telling me I'm getting a fucking octa-core hyper-threaded, something that's the equivalent of the best of the Intel line right now? No fucking way. Especially not in a console. Alright, guys, so while I do want it to be a 20-core fucking monster, you know I'm an Xbox dude. I got almost 100,000 gamer score. I don't have to prove that to anyone. And I do put these videos out there fighting the good fight for a reason. I'm a fan. But I like to keep shit in check and realistic and down-to-earth. You get what I'm saying? So people thinking we're going to need a hyper-threaded octa-core to run shit in 4K. They know nothing about the way this works. Uh, and there's a reason I say these things. So do I think it will be Ryzen? Perhaps a variant. A lot of people think that Ryzen CPU we saw at New Horizon is the only one. That is not the only Ryzen CPU. That is the top-end first-generation Ryzen CPU designed to compete with the top-end in Intel. Okay, There's going to be desktop variants. There's going to be mobile variants for laptops, things like that. Most likely, that's the kind we'll get in this Xbox Scorpio because it consumes less power, and that's important for consoles. And there may even be a lower-end um, uh, quad-core variant. You never know, but it's already been confirmed. Eight CPU cores for Scorpio. Uh, Phil has said the latest technology. So if they do, do, if they do use Ryzen, it will be a 
kind of cut down version, not physically, but they will probably deactivate hyperthreading and run it at a much lower clock. Now keep in mind, that CPU is still capable of crushing the X1 and PS4 CPU combined. All right, no problem. So there is, you know what I'm saying? No fretting about the CPU. Just keep it realistic. It's a console. It's got to hit a console price point. It is what it is, guys. And, you know, if you hit the like button or you comment, I appreciate it. Friendly discussions in the comments are definitely w welcome. But anyways, on to Xbox Live's most recent update. Uh, does enable up to 80% 80 80 faster download speeds for video games on the console uh, and that depends on your available broadband but people with 100 meg or more will get up to 80 percent more people with less it'll be around 40 percent more so i think that's fucking awesome X -Live, xbox live already had a massive lead there and they've only extended that further but anyways if you want to talk about that i'll be in the discussions uh in the comments for about an hour if you like this kind of shit let me know i'm dealer i'm out